Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to a few topics related to time series. The first, uh, we're going to look at what is the uh, white noise and uh, how we are going to use the moving average of filtering uh, to get the some of the uh, characteristics and uh, we also look at the auto regression how it looks like uh, for our time series and um, finally we will look at the random walk with or without a drift and this terminology is sometimes uh, in the literature uh, it appears very often sometimes it's quite uh, confusing uh, here, hopefully, I can help you uh, clarify it when you uh, read it uh, again. Let's look at the first, um, the how to create the white noise and uh, look at the moving averages uh, first. Let's load the package uh, ASTSA, uh, which is uh, from a uh, textbook related to uh, time series and its applications and it is a version 4 here and we already loaded the package um, here the line 20 is to create the white noise or the random uh, numbers with a mean at a zero uh, variance at a one so this line at a 21 uh, it's a future uh, um, on the both sides that this means and it give the coefficient one over three or one third so literally it give you the three point average with uh, average on the uh, as the uh, kind of a, uh, moving lines uh, moving forward then they give you two windows and then um, plot the white noise as well as the moving average in the same frame. Let's take a look at the, the pictures. Uh, the diagrams that shows here you see here. One, and then there is a uh, one point it's exceeding three, oh, <clears throat> roughly minus a three, excuse me, and then this average is centered around somewhere around the zero okay uh, this is a smoother version okay, that you can imagine uh, three point average uh, moving along uh, for this uh, 500 points let's quickly look at the auto regressions the same um, uh, at the a line 29 it will create uh, 550 uh, points for the random analysis and um, it will filter use this function as a kind of a, a calculate the, the moving average um, uh, method and um, we call it a recursive and then you remove the first uh, 50 points um, which uh, which is uh, um, kind of like an A in this case then you plot it again the coefficient of the regression of the, uh, the kind of a previous value is a minus zero, uh, 0 0.9 so you can see the up and down and uh, all the oscillation style of the uh, diagram uh, uh, you can see it is up and down and but in the uh, in the center it is still um, centering around the uh, zero uh, value zero so we can see it give you some rough ideas of the uh, auto regression and uh, how it looks like let's quickly go to the random walk walk so here in line 36 it give a c so you can always find uh, what's the uh, kind of a random number you uh, re uh, uh, you got you so you can reproduce it 
So you create the, the uh, random numbers, then you do the uh, uh, like accumulation, you sum them together, and then you add a drift. This is a version with the drift, and then you uh, sum up all these um, uh, noises with the drift 0 0.2, and then you plot it and produce the um, a random walk with uh, without the um, uh, drift. So uh, let's just see how it looks like. Here uh, we can see this line above is the random walk with the drift. If we remove this train, it's like a linear line, then it becomes the random walk uh, without the drift. Hopefully to give you some ideas about this uh, three uh, concept, and um, I strongly recommend you to look at it as um, uh, a textbook, very classic. It also has a easy, maybe ease uh, version of it, and it's a quite uh, a, a fast introduction. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy um, reading it, and um, hopefully you also enjoy my video. Thank you.